Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Tonight we're going to go out and uh, do some enforcement, go undercover, go up to some uh, prostitutes and see if they'll solicit us and make the streets a little bit safer. Since uh, 1988, we've been keeping track of HIV positive and AIDS positive uh, prostitutes, male and females. Um, we have 378 known infected people with HIV. Um, they're still out there working, and if we catch them, it now becomes a felony once you test positive the first time for HIV. When Vegas first started, this was a great prominent area. And uh, fortunately, it's had fell on some hard times, and. You know, they're trying to clean this area up, so again, that's where we come in handy. We're trying to clean up the uh, prostitution. Boys, are you guys in position? Y yeah, I'm right behind you. Turn around, come back to the south. Uh, we have a possible here. It's a female. She's by herself, so we're going to pull in here. Hey, what's up? What you up to? Nothing. Yeah, you looking good. Huh? What are you doing? Let's go. You want to jump in? You need company? Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you giving company? Kinda. <laughs> Kinda? If you're buying. If I'm buying? Mm hmm Okay, she's in the car. All right, buddy. So now we'll pop out and follow What's behind them. <laughs> um, normally I do $40. What is it that you pay? Because I, I got in from Atlanta. I go to my own place. I strip totally down. If we go any further, it's just $20 more. No. Uh, that's, is that 40 bucks a work? Oh, that's a good deal for me. Okay, she's got, she wants $40. So she has her own place and something about if he wants to go any further, it's $20 more. Metro Police, put your hands oh, right there. Oh, is it okay? Metro Police, okay. put your hands Close up there. Las Vegas oh, Vice. All right. You okay, slide up. Put, up, put your hands up put there. Put your hands up there, okay. we're going to handcuff you. Slide up. Put your hands on the back. Just like that? Yes, okay, just like that. Good. You got uh, any weapons, any no. needles, anything like that? No, I don't you, do drugs. You've been arrested for this before? No, I got high uh, clearance security, so I worked security for a long time. I do this to try to find my sister. So you've never been arrested once for no, this? No, they ran a check on me the other day, right. and I let the cops do that because I don't actually go in and do anything. I'm just mm -hmm. trying to find my sister. Okay, so, just trying to find your sister. Yeah, she's out here somewhere, and I hear she was up at Denny's the other night at 4.30 in the morning. So you're not out here soliciting? I'm not out here. I'm out here to get these guys to try to figure out where she's at. She's uh, been out here for a year, so yeah. So you're you can a me, so you're you private citizen, to. just trying to do a sting, huh? No, well, no. I, I, my parents are not. They live in Iowa, and they're. And I made a promise, so this okay. is fine. Okay. What about the no. oral, oral sex for forty bucks part? No, I'm gonna get. I'll get you in there and and. Oh, and okay. ask all types of questions. Okay. Oh, so that was just a front yeah, to get me in. Yeah, I got a picture of everything. Oh, okay. okay. And that's... the cop the other night, I don't know what his name was, but... Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's, he, he, that's a first for me. Okay. No, I'm... Yeah, I know. So that's why I told him whatever it takes to get a... If I have to get a rest. All right, I'll follow you. All right, let's go in the back here. Yes. That's a good one. I never heard that one. That's what? a first. That you look... That you're getting... That's, that's original. I got to give her 10 points for that one. We have a possible here. It's a female. Okay, he's gonna try to talk to her. What's up? What's up? You wanna get in? Hey, what's up, girl? What's up? You looking young. What's going on? Nothing. What are you up to tonight? Not much. Not much? Are you out looking for some fun? You're not the police, are you? No, I'm not the police. Okay, she got in. And uh, he's going to pass this by right now. She's going, to, she's going for it. What do you charge? 60. 60? Oh, that's a cool deal. I'll do that. OK, she just agreed to all sex. Keep going, keep going. Don't stop right here. Well, I don't want any police. I want to turn around and get the hell out of here. 
I know. That's what I'm saying. Don't stop right here. You can go right where's the here. Where's the jail at? Right here. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Las Vegas Vice. Got anything in your person need to know about? Condoms. Just condoms? Mm -hmm. Now go ahead and take your hands and put them behind your back. You ever been arrested before? Yes, I have. What for? Prostitution. When's the last time? Um, a couple weeks back. A couple weeks back. How long you been out in Vegas? Not that long. Where you from? From San Diego. How long you been out here working then? How long have I been out here working? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? How long you been in business? Oh, uh, not that long. Okay, come on out. Do you have a daughter? Yes, I do. She's one years old. Okay. Well, if you're gonna be out here working, you gotta make contingency plans because you gotta expect to be caught. So, every night you go out. Am I allowed to make a phone call when I get in? When you get down, when we get you all processed and everything. Basically, what we got right here is she looks very young. She's claiming to be 18, but she was lying to me the whole time. We, we got to verify if she's a juvie or not. Uh, juvenile prostitution in Las Vegas is big, um, and it's taken very seriously. So we're going to go through a long process here, verify where she's from, and uh, make sure we corroborate everything that she says before we start paperwork and know where to book her in. OK, you got a warrant. Not appearing in court, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm inclined to believe you are who you say you are. Huh? I'm inclined to believe you are who you say you are now. Okay. Um, I can still get bailed, right? Uh, you got to take care of the warrant. It's not a no bail warrant, so yeah, if you pay that and... How'd you get turned out? Messing with the wrong crowd. No man turned you out, just other girls? No. Myself. Yourself. Stupid. Uh huh. Is that how you got the baby, or? No, I got raped. Okay. At a party. At a party. How many times have you been raped? If you don't mind me asking. Fourteen. Fourteen times. All of them used condoms except for this one. I just got finished arresting a lady who's been doing this for twenty years. Okay. And I'm sure at one time she started out just as young and pretty as you were. She doesn't look that way now after 20 years of being in this I don't business. Cut under this forever. You know that? If I had I just quit a dollar. Once I hit 100,000, all right? Okay. All right. I quit. Unfortunately, I know five years from now I will still see you again. At some point in time, you have to think about yourself. Everybody chooses what path they want to go to. I'm not passing judgment on you, all right? But you're 18, you're still young, you're a nice looking young lady, you still have your whole life ahead of you. However, you're never going to get rich, and you're never going to have a decent life if you stay in this business. Growing up here in Santa Ana, I've actually seen the city go through several cycles. Um, uh, right now, the current trend that I'm noticing is that crime is going down. In part, I think it's because a lot of the police officers, you know, we take pride in, in working in the city. And some of the things that we like to do is we like to go out and be proactive, and that's I think what's helping out the city become better for, for the residents. We just passed a girl that I recognize. She's a prostitute, and she's with someone, so I'm going to stop and talk to her. Can I talk to you for a second? What's going on? He's just handicapped. That's all I'm happy him. How do you know him? Huh? How do you know him? Friend. He's just a friend? Yeah. I know you, though, don't I? No. Yeah. I don't think what, so. what have you been arrested for? Oh, I've been arrested for drugs and different stuff like that. How about prostitution? Long time ago. You all right, sir? Yeah. Yeah, I fell down the back in the street. Do you need uh, medics or anything like that? No. OK. Hey. Where are you guys heading right now? I'm going to take him to the deck in the box. He fell down, so I'm just taking him, helping him Where go are you guys here. going? This lady helped me up. OK. But I was laying down in the street and she okay. me up. Okay. You on probation? Oh, yeah, I'm on probation. Just seen my probation officer today, man. Oh, is that right? Yes. Oh, okay. Do you have I'm, anything illegal in your well, purse? I sure don't. If you want to check in, check it out, be my guest. Oh, I can search it? Of Thanks. Of course you can. All right. And you guys are going to Jack in the Box, I'm you gonna said? I'm going to help him to the Jack in the Box. Here's my ID and stuff right back here. OK. You know, you he fell on the streets, and I'm going to help him. That's all. Where are you guys staying? 
Well, I, I live in Costa Mesa. I had to catch the bus down here, and I just happened to get off the bus right up there. He had failed. You, you fell? Yeah. This okay. lady's not that hard. Yes, she, she does. I know her. She could have let me lay in Gun. the street. Hold on a second, sir. 1, 2, 15, 9, 12, and 9, 6, 8. Now I have to tell my probation officer I had contact with a police officer because I'm helping a citizen. Uh, 31, 2, 15. We're just checking to make sure you don't have any warrants. Aye, aye. No, okay. ain't none of that going on. How are you going to get home? We don't catch the bus. I'm going to take the bus home. It might take me three or four hours, but I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> well, not with her helping you, right? I'm, just because I'm a girl, that don't mean nothing, OK? Why well, you have this all folded up in here? Emergency? You're uh, on the up and up with your probation officer, right? Oh, of course. I just left today. And there's nothing fishy or icky or none of that. Nothing like that? OK. It just surprised me to see you here on Harbor, because, I, like I said, it's I used okay. to see you on East First. every day. That's why you ain't seen me on East First Street either. That's good. Yeah, uh-huh. So you cleaned up, obviously. I don't do drugs or any of that anymore. You don't do that anymore? Do you drink still? Yeah, I snorted cocaine years ago. Really? Before I even got to First Street. That was thought, though. You all right? OK. Oh, yeah. I'm what clean. else have you done? That's it. Nothing else. Marijuana was my favorite. It was my favorite pastime, you know? Oh, look at you. I am for real. So I'm glad. Looks like you've cleaned up. I'm always looking pretty if that's what you're trying to insinuate now. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying that, you know, before you, you looked uh, pretty bad when you were using drugs. No, you never seen 31, me look 215. bad, mister. You never seen me look bad. Okay, we have some awful 1032. Uh, you, would you like to sit in the back of my car? Yeah, I think it's just Yeah, I can take okay. it to the deck. Let's go to my car seat. back here. Because my legs are giving out. Okay, let's go have a seat. I'll go, come I've on. Right side Keep an eye on her. Don't come on. Me I've I'll got right out. side weakness. Okay, I'll uh, I'll try to help you out here, okay? Fine. All right. You can go ahead and walk okay. and uh, we'll take him down there. He can meet you, you for know. dinner. Go ahead and just turn that leg a little bit and get it in there. And my partner here will give you a ride. Okay. All right? But you do me a favor. You know it and I know it. She's a prostitute, OK? You already told me that. But be careful. We have a big problem out here, and there's a lot of officers working this particular street. So don't get yourself in trouble, all right? Well, I told her that uh, I wouldn't treat her as a prostitute because my uh, brain injury kind of cancels that out. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So you don't, you don't see her as a prostitute? What do you see her as? Well, She's a prostitute. OK. She's a golden hearted prostitute. What does that mean? She tries to help people out. Are you guys getting a room after dinner? Well, if we do, it's not going to be for sex. What's it going to be for? Relationship. Okay. What does relationship mean? Women like to talk about the things that happen to them. OK, so you're going to go listen to her? OK, well, just do me a favor. When you're out having uh, your relationship with her and talking with her, make sure you use protection, because uh, she's been around a while. Well, I'm not going to give her my pen number, either. <laughs> That's <laughs> probably a good thing. Hey, I'm 49 years old. I've been around for a while. I ain't been crippled that long. In about <laughs> three years, I've been crippled. All right. Well, you, uh, you take care. OK. Have a good dinner, all right? My partner will take you to Jack in the Box. Thanks, Rick. Yeah, you want me to follow you to help you get him out? Uh, You're probably going to need me to, because right. he's pretty heavy. Uh, right now, what I'm going to do is follow my partner. We're going to take this gentleman to where he's going to have uh, dinner with his friend. I'm in the Marine Corps. I've been in the Marine Corps for 11 years. Um, I think being a Marine has taught me a lot about how to be a strong person, um, how to have a command voice if I have to, professional bearing military courtesy, that all kind of comes second nature because um, you always have to be that way in the Marine Corps professional and um, I think it, it's definitely made me a stronger person. What we're going to do is we just passed a parking lot where um, I observed two people sitting in a, a vehicle that was abandoned. Um, when we passed, they ducked down into the seat, so we're going to swing back around and see what's going on. I've known it, it to be a place where prostitutes go to run their tricks. and. Uh, where uh, people go to smoke uh, crack cocaine and use heroin, so we're going to check it out. I thought you saw somebody in there. Yeah, there is there. somebody in there. There's two people in there. 
Twelve twenty-two. Put us out with two, Henry, in a race. You need to step out for me. This isn't your car, and I know that. Sir, you need to keep your hands where I can see them, okay? You need to drop your purse. I got it here. And come out where I can see it, Kelly. I don't want to be. Man, drop your pen. Turn around. Give me your hands. Okay. First off, I know what you're doing in here. Where is it at? I'm not doing anything. I'm okay. sitting in here with him. You're not just sitting in here with him. You've got drug paraphernalia. What are you doing in here? What are you hooked on, ma'am? I do drugs, but I'm not doing anything right okay. now. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Until you tell me the truth, you're going in cuffs for my safety. You got me? Okay. I'm completely cooperating, but I have nothing. You have nothing on you, but there's something in that car. I can guarantee it. Where is it at? I have no idea. It's, I just came in You here have with no him. idea. I came to sit with him. I swear to God. Whose car is this? Some this kind of car belongs to a rich I'm not using it right now. I don't know his last name. The guy went to jail. Right okay, it belonged to the Sherman. You need to sit down right here in front of my car. Can I just kneel like this? No, you need to get down on the ground because I don't have anyone else to watch you. 31? Step out for me, sir. Ma'am. Turn around. Yes, ma'am. Where's the dope, my man? I am butterless. I huh? am none. Okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna test everything that I find on you, and if I found an, find a rock of the smallest amount of crack on you, you're going to jail. You got me? This isn't your car. You're not supposed to be hanging out in it. Why are your pants undone? Because the zipper is broke. Okay, the zipper's not broke, no, and your pants are wet. What's the deal? Stay up. The pants is wet because I just got through bathing and put them on, man. Okay. Look, Were you picking a trick shoe. up? Stop, stop moving around on me and answer my question. Were you picking a trick up? No, I was not. This girl just came home from rehab. Yeah. Open your hands up. Talking about uh, kicking a hair on. It's killing. It was shaking. 1222. 1222. Can we get a unit here to uh, just hold our prisoners for us until we uh, see what's going on? Let's walk this way. You need to have a seat right there. What's her name? What's your name, ma'am? Hey, guys. No talking. What we got here is uh, this is a place that people commonly go to run tricks, pick up prostitutes. I saw them sitting in this car. I know this car has been sitting here unoccupied, abandoned for about a month and a half, I see their heads. We pull up. Neither of them know each other's names. Neither of them have a reason for sitting in the car. We find crack cocaine, drug paraphernalia, and he's got a couple warrants, so. I'm gonna go talk to them. You keep searching. Ma'am, step up for me. Sir, can you sit up? Come this way with me. Here's the deal. my skirt down? Your skirt's down, ma'am. Okay. Here's the deal. We found crack cocaine in the car. Okay. We found a pusher. Okay. What were you guys getting ready to do? You need to be honest with me. This is your opportunity. Okay. What's okay. going on? We had some stuff, and we were going to go smoke it. How much stuff? Um, I have no idea how much he had. He didn't even tell me. He just said, do you want to go take a hit? And he said it was his car and, you know, all that. It's not even my drug of choice. Uh, my what, drug was of it, choice, crack or heroin? It was crack. My okay. drug of choice is heroin. I just got out of rehab for that. What so did I, he do with the crack? I didn't see what he got did with it. Where's the crack pipe? Because I had my notebook out and I was doing other things while he was, you know what I'm saying? Did he have the crack pipe on him? Yeah, he had a crack pipe. How long have you been sitting in the car? We just got there. We just, you just got there? Yeah. Where did he pick, where'd he pick you up at? We were just walking down the street. Do you trick? I, I used to, well, uh, yeah, but I'm not, I'm trying to stop that. That's why I went to rehab. How long I have you been tricking? Out of rehab. Just a couple months. Just a couple months? Yeah. Okay. Just, you know, I lost my- Why is his pants undone then? Were you getting ready to no. check? No, 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 no. He would, no. Is there anything else on you? Because if, if we take you to jail for this possession, you have to open your bra, you're going to jail. I have nothing. Alrighty. Else. Okay, let's walk this way. Um, found a little bit of crack on her side of the car. She's got priors for prostitution. This corner here is where a lot of prostitutes kind of do their business. 
Um, I found what looks to be some crack on his side of the car. They're both in the car. His zipper was down, so it's pretty much obvious what's going on here. A lot of times prostitutes will do their thing for a little bit of crack, and I'm gonna just test this real quick and see if any of it's positive. You can see all the blue, it's crack cocaine. Okay. I came in contact with her because she needs okay. someone to talk to. Come on, let's talk then. I'll help you shake the heroin. I'll do anything I can to convince you not to buy heroin, buy crack with that money, so you can have my drug of choice, too. Okay, crack's your drug of choice. Honest as I can be. Okay, well, here's the deal. You're going to jail today. We found crack cocaine in the car. You're going to jail for the possession and for your probation oh, violation. Man. So, she's going to go to jail for the possession. They're both going to jail tonight. Okay. We've got a lot of problems with DWIs in the city, all the freeways. We've got a lot of bars, and you know, people sometimes drink more than, than they should and try to get behind the wheel. It accounts for a lot of our uh, fatality accidents we've had in the city here. Okay, we've got one of our units in pursuit right now, Just trying to get a vehicle stopped Just by himself. We're going to see if we can uh, get up here and help him out. Zebra 17, sign. We gonna get it up there to set up some spikes, spike them. Get ready to deploy some spike strips up here. Uh, we're a few cars back right now. They're getting ready to spike. Got the units right here. Zebra 17 clear. Spike's been thrown. We got a pursuit going on. We just drew the spike sticks. We're gonna see it and see if he got spiked right now. Pull him out. He just uh, he hit the spike strips. Um, his tires are going flat. We're about four cars behind the the uh, the vehicle right now. He's hit the spike strips. Uh, he should be stopping. Any second, we'll try to take him into custody. Get on the tire, we'll pull out his station here. Everyone, we're at Decatur. And the uh, station parking lot now. I was on my way to that call in Meadowbrook, and he, I was at Ward in Meadowbrook, and he passed by in front of me. He's probably going about 45, and the speed limit's at 30. So I got him behind him, and he's kind of weaving a little bit, 
and uh, change his lanes without using signals. So I'll go ahead and light him up there at the beach and Scott and uh, just kind of rolls through. We were a long ways off whenever you called out with it. I'm glad he wasn't going so fast. I know. <laughs> we finally caught up with you, but yeah, which was can, good. I don't know where he, he lives on Rose, which is, I think, on the east side. I think so. So I don't know where he's trying to get to. Or he's just driving because he's drunk. He doesn't know where he's going. Northside units did a good job spiking. Y'all want to shackle him up? All right. Let's get him. Yeah. Use your legs. Careful, he's probably going to try to kick you. Give me your legs. Bring him out. Before. Because I said. He's tried to kick me three times now, so. Bring your legs out. You know what I got? Uh, what do you got? Don't do anything stupid. I said, don't do anything stupid. I gave you your chance, didn't I? I'll let go when you kick your leg out. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. I know it does. It's supposed to. I'm not treating you wrong. It's a pressure point. So I'll pull him across it, bro. Pull him across it. Get across it. We got the vehicle up on north side. North side units did a good job spiking the uh, deploying their spike system out and uh, getting the vehicle hit on on this side. Blew out both tires. Once the guy felt his tires blew, he knew he'd been spiked. Pulled into this uh, convenience store parking lot. Put up a brief struggle on the side of the vehicle. We're trying to get him out. Uh, officers did a good job. Had to knock the wind out on this side to, in order to help us get the guy out of the vehicle. As a result, you know, all the glasses on the ground, but nobody got hurt. And all in all, it was a good chase. Good ending. We're going to investigate a suspicious auto. Uh, possible drug activity. Our undercover officers are sitting in the vehicle right now. They've requested uh, uniform cars. We're behind the truck in front of turning uh, northbound on region. Twenty three, did you say they're gonna stop there? Right on your right. Seven or twenty one traffic stop. Twenty one traffic stop. Nineteen seventy two twenty. Copy nineteen seventy two twenty. He's, he's, you're passing, you're, oh, you yeah, guys, you Kentucky 072. I tell you what, why don't you step out of the vehicle too, sir? What's the problem? Put your hands behind your back for me. 724, he does have 23 with him. Whose car is that? Fiance. Is there anything in there we should know about? No. Okay. You're in possession of the car. If anything's in there, then you know you could get charged with it. It's best to be truthful now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and have a seat. Watch your heads. Five six five eight seven five nine. What's going five, on? Eight. Anyway, like a murder case or what? No. <laughs> We're just uh, Central Ohio or Kentucky. Investigating like, something here. All right. Yeah. Exactly. Right. You have anything else in your shoes? Yeah. Good. You got a seat in the back of my car, right? Yes, sir. You're being detained for an investigation right now, okay? Thanks a lot. Eric says got off of work. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, actually, you're under arrest for a warrant. You have a warrant for your arrest. Okay. I do. A traffic warrant. Okay. Right now, I'm searching for uh, any type of contraband. Looks like we got some, uh, I don't know what this is at this point. Looks like tobacco, I don't know. What was your buddy smoking, man? I was smoking some weed. We were smoking weed. OK, well, where's the weed? It was gone. It was gone. What were you smoking it out of? Huh? What were you smoking it out of? Smoking out of a can. I didn't have the papers. OK. How many bags you got? There's uh, one, two, five plastic bags wrapped. I don't know if they're trying to sell tobacco. Why do you have tobacco wrapped in? Plastic? I told your partner. I told your partner. Uh, Campbell, I was gonna keister him. Go to jail. I was gonna uh, keister him. <laughs> Campbell County is a non-smoking jail. So you were gonna do Ke what? Keister. Pick him up, my. 
Are you that addicted to cigarettes? That's a non-smoking jail. That's all you know. It's uh, it's tobacco. It's tobacco. I'm not lying. Yeah. The gentleman stated he was gonna he was gonna go to jail and that he was gonna uh, take it inside the jail internally. And you've never you've never taken tobacco in jail like that before? No. What I wasn't you, even sure I wouldn't what, I wasn't even sure I was gonna get away with it. What gave you, know what you I mean? the idea to do that? It's just heard of it, so we're gonna try it. Okay. You know, people if they're going to jail, you know, they got habits and addictions. I don't know. It's pretty drastic. It's an addiction, man. <laughs> Seven or twenty-one thirty-five. Uh, we're responding to a bank for a subject inside the bank trying to pass a bad check. We got him. We got him. Twenty-one. You have traffic. Spray. 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 You got anything on you you shouldn't have, man? Fine. If you have cars responding here, tell them to slow down. He is in custody. Correct. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Keep that. It's crack. <laughs> is it? Yeah. He's bleeding, too. This little bag is like falling. It's, I can't tell it's pipe. inside out, but it's phone. Pipe. I just threw a thing next to your shoe, Chad. Yeah, he's got broken glass in his pocket. Back up. Watch your head, man. Put your feet in first, man. Put your foot in first. Watch your head. How many IDs has he got? Three. All right, what happened inside? He tried to pass a bad check, and the bank was actually trying to call the company on the check to confirm that it was bad at the time that uh, he decided he was going to run. Did he just take off room when you guys approached yeah. him? No, no, we talked to him for a brief second, explained okay. him what we were talking to him for, and at that point in time, so we took off running. So why did you run, sir? I was scared. You were scared? Okay, what's that white powdery substance we got out of your pocket? Okay, what was that pipe for? You got a habit? Okay. All right, we're going to take you in the station and get you cleaned up, all right? All right. Was, was he in the front of the bank, or was he more towards the back? He was, he was close to the back. Okay. The, uh, we got to pick the back the, door. Yeah, the chemical irritant seemed to take a good effect. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll get him in, get him cleaned up, and uh, we'll take him to jail. Cool. I enjoy being a cop here in Santa Ana because it's a bigger agency than where I started out, and it gives me options to do a variety of things that I wouldn't have been able to accomplish in another agency, a smaller agency. I work the area of Santa Ana called South Coast. It's the one of the bigger areas and it's got a good mix of residential areas and industrial and businesses and we have a lot of apartment areas that are condensed and give us some work to do and keeps us busy. We're just gonna check this alley, see if anybody's out hanging around and doing anything. They're not supposed to. It's just an alley where we have a lot of graffiti and, and um, gang members hanging out, so. Let's go talk to him. 
How you doing? Pretty good. Can I have your, see your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance? I don't have my driver's license on me. You don't have it on you? OK. Do you have any ID or anything? Nah. Just keep your hands up. It's OK. Oh. Is this your car? No, it's my friend's car. OK. 345, I'll be out with one in the alley, if I can get a code one. OK. Um, wh where are you coming from? From right here, from Dukes. OK. You're, you're on parole or probation? No. So your friend let you borrow the car? See. Do you have a driver's license, or you, and you just don't have it with you? Uh, I don't have a driver's license. You don't have one? OK. That's cool, man. You know what? I'm just going to check and make sure you don't have any weapons so I can talk to you comfortably. Okay. If you don't mind, just step out of the car real quick. Just do it slowly so I can watch you. Go ahead and step out and just turn away from me when you get out. Just leave it where it is. It's fine. It won't go anywhere. Go ahead and turn around for me. Put your hand behind your back. There you go. Interlace your fingers for me. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. There you go. You got a pager too? Yeah. So you got a pager and a phone, huh? Yeah. What do you do for a living? Nothing. You just like to communicate or what? Nah. My girlfriend's always calling me. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's this, man? Foil. Foil? When was the last time you used heroin, dude? This morning? Where do you usually get it at? Friends. Friends? Mm -hmm. You got some generous friends. Do they hook you up or do, do they sell it to you? Nah, they hook me up. They hook you up? Yeah. So who are you visiting then? A friend of mine. What's your friend's name? Uh, Ralph. Where does Ralph live? Somewhere around at the end. Somewhere around? He's supposed to meet me here. What's in the car, dude? What do you think is in the car? I don't know. Hmm. You want to put him away? Yeah, we'll just throw him in the car real quick. So basically, um, right hidden in the seat, looks like we got a little dope. I'm just gonna check into it a little bit, but it's packaged up like dope, obviously. Looks like it's probably heroin. It kind of smells like it. So there's about 17 bindles in here. He's selling it by the amount and the packaging. And then he's got all his money, uh, not in any particular order, but just in his pocket. So it looks like he's probably selling dope. So we'll have to talk to him a little bit about that. Listen, those pages that are going off on my roof, making all that noise, we're gonna use my cell phone. We're gonna call them back. You think any of those people are gonna say, hey, drop it off here? Guess not. All right, well, we'll check. We got the phone. We'll call. We can. We can use his phone. Well, that's okay. Call him up, tell him you're his girlfriend, and you want to know uh, where he's like. They know I don't have a girlfriend. You ain't gonna trick him. Well, you just got one. <laughs> Who's they, anyways? What do they call you, dude? What do they call me? Yeah, what's up? This is Mario's girlfriend. He's calling Mario right now. You called, you paged him. Is he helping you sell, or who's he selling for? Huh? So what What do you do for him, then? You're paging him like it's an emergency, man. It's cool, man. He told me I could call you. How do you think I got his pager? He said that you would tell me it was everything that's happening. But he, you know, I just want to make sure everything's the same. He already told me. That way I'll tell him, and I'll be straight after that. Is he making the drop or what? All right, so he is? Well, is he dropping it for you or are you giving it to him? You don't give out anything, you just pick up? Sweet, so then, so then he's gonna start making some money now or what? Cause he's been broke. Are you gonna hook him up with some? All right. Hey, I just talked to your buddy, Robert. What do you think he told me? What did he tell you? He's waiting for you. So you're gonna start telling me what's going on or what? Huh? I'll keep calling people. You got people calling in. That's probably him right now. So what's the deal, man? You gonna, you gonna cough it up or what? Cough what up? Tell what me, me tell me what up? you're doing here. Tell me what you're doing here. Tell me what you're doing with the dough. Kind of words you wanna put in my okay, mouth? Okay, I wanna know. If you're, if you're selling it, are you selling it for the money? Are you selling it so he can break you off? Use, for, for my own use, for my own use, there. So, so he's cutting you a break? Cutting who a break? Like, you basically, you sell it and you keep whatever profits for yourself, to use for yourself. I keep everything. Well, that doesn't sound right. I use it, I use it, that's it. Nobody get, let you have that for free, okay? You obviously have to throw some money back to the, their way, okay? And then he breaks you off a little something for your use, right? I stole it. 
You didn't steal that stuff, man. Why are you messing with me? You really want me to go, go the Juan route? I just told you, I, I do it to you, that's it. Well, you don't get it for free and you didn't steal it. Yeah, but... Stop being so hardcore, man. I'm not impressed I'm not by that. I'm not being hardcore, you know what I mean? I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. You think you are. I'm not. No, I don't. Well, just be straight up with me, man. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm hardcore. I, I'd rather treat you like a man than I like am, a little thug. I'm trying to be a, what do you mean a thug? I ain't no thug. Come well, you're on. thinking you're all hardcore right now. I guess so. Nope. You know better, you've been around. You know how it works. You know how it works. This isn't the first yeah, time you're in the backseat of a car. I know how it works. I'm done with it. So basically, we know by confirmation by his friends that he's uh, dropping off drugs and selling to people, and his pagers is access from these people.